I'm thrilled to be able to talk to you uh, today about CT colonography. And it's actually a very important time for CTC because the US Preventative Service Task Force has just started an evaluation of CTC uh, and colorectal cancer screening. And the results of that evaluation will likely impact national reimbursement uh, for screening. So here's a timeline that I created for the important time points in the evolution of CTC. And it was introduced close to 20 years ago. It's hard to believe. Subsequent to that, uh, there was uh, work done on optimization of techniques, so evaluation in animal models, the evolution from single detector to multi-detector CT, implementation of carbon dioxide uh, insufflation for bowel distension to make the study more comfortable for patients, uh, imp improved workstation displays. And so for about 10 years, there were major validation trials that were ongoing and then finally completed and published. In 2008, the large Akron-sponsored national CTC trial was published. Uh, and we thought that uh, immediately after that, we would uh, have national reimbursement. Um, the good news was that the American Cancer Society decided to endorse CTC in joint guidelines with the ACR and the multi-society task force, which is composed of the GI societies. However, later that year, the USPSTF, and then the following year in 2009, Medicare decided that there was inadequate evidence uh, for national coverage uh, for screening CTC. So since 2009, there's been a real focus to address the issues that were uh, brought uh, to our attention by Medicare. And this included uh, concerns about radiation dose, um, extraclonic findings, and uh, cost effectiveness of working up uh, extraclonic findings, validation in a senior cohort, so in Medicare age patients. So uh, Medicare, for the first time, has asked for uh, specific studies evaluating a new technique um, in age 65 and older patients. Um, and then during that time as well, we've focused on um, initiating some private payer coverage uh, and then global dissemination. Now this year, um, as I stated uh, and alluded to, is an important year for CTC. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, the FDA called a special panel uh, to evaluate CTC safety and efficacy. And uh, multiple of the leaders in CTC flew out to Washington, D.C. to testify. Um, I actually went as well. Uh, and the result was fairly immediate and unanimous that there was support for CTC and for screening. So that was the good news. And uh, this is particularly helpful as USPSTF starts its cycle of review again uh, for CTC, as I mentioned. And then we'll talk about the future of CTC, as I mentioned, as well. Now, this was actually brought to my attention, which is, and I didn't know this, which is that at UCSF, they actually publish on the website significant achievements uh, throughout the years. And they usually pick about three. And back when we published our landmark study, it was in included uh, as a significant achievement coming out of UCSF. 